Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of this week so far. And uh, in this video, we'll talk about Bitcoin, of course. All right. Uh, yesterday, we already briefly spoke about the economic um, news this week, which is pretty much non-existent. I mean, on, on, on Wednesday, we have a little bit in terms of, uh, well, that's not it. Uh, but Wednesday, we have a little bit of news with the uh, with the jobless uh, claims numbers, uh, as you can see. But apart from that, really nothing. All right. And uh, and we do, I think tomorrow we have one last ETF deadline. But again, I mean, the, the uh, expectation for that is that it will be delayed. I see no reason why it wouldn't be delayed. I mean, it's um, right now, most of the deadlines are at the beginning of, 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 of January. So it makes no sense to me why they would then approve or reject even uh, a proposal like this. So I don't, in, in general, I see no big events this week, which could really make the price move, uh, which is a good thing since then maybe we might get some stability. But on the other hand, uh, it's also, I mean, obviously when, when there's nothing really uh, pushing or, or causing momentum in the markets what that means and that's also uh, not not necessarily what we see right now because the volume is pretty high uh, but that does mean that if you compare for example the volume of bitcoin right now to the volume last week which mostly was above 20 uh, 20 billion dollars uh, that means that that if an event happens it is going to make the market move like we saw this morning i mean obviously as most of you know uh, Monday is just the, the, the day that market makers and, and traders, big traders, put money into the markets. So you get capital flowing into the markets, which causes volatility, right? Um, but I do think that the election of uh, Javier Milay, that's my best uh, Spanish for you. Um, I do think that, that the appointment of him, who is a, a pro-Bitcoin, um, of a pretty big country. I mean, Ar Argentina isn't the biggest economically, and I also don't think they're putting the most money in crypto, but still uh, they are. And it is bullish news in general for the acceptance of Bitcoin. So you can see that that in combination with the market opening did cause some bullish momentum. In general, uh, if you remember my, my video yesterday, I expect Bitcoin to range, all right? Uh, because yesterday we also talked about this week and uh, and, and what would happen or more, uh, more what, what wouldn't happen. Um, and a, a range was most likely, but now <clears throat> you must understand what the situation is. And I know I'm doing a lot of rambling, uh, but I think that's needed, all right? But purely technically right now, Bitcoin, just to tell you uh, in advance, is between this level right here, between 37,600 and uh, right now 35,700. That could be lower at some point of time, that range, but for now it's that. And it's ranging in this area. It's pretty neutral in this area. And at some point of time, I still expect it to break above 37,600. All right. So the big question is, is well, is, is that today? Now that we're getting quite a lot of uh, bullish momentum. And we'll talk about that. But first, I want to explain what the situation right now for Bitcoin is. And that is that we like one of the main reasons Bitcoin was this bullish was because of the potential of ETFs being accepted. Right. So now that they're all delayed, the uh, deadlines for the ETFs are at the beginning of 2024. No huge Bitcoin holder is going to uh, sell all of their Bitcoin uh, before those dates. All right. Because obviously, I mean, if, if, if you have bought Bitcoin, for example, in this move at 30,000, uh, sure, you might sell some at the top right here. Maybe that's also been done, but you're not going to sell any, everything until those ETFs are accepted, because if those ETFs are accepted, Everybody will buy Bitcoin and then you can unleash your tokens upon the supply. All right. So that actually means that the, the delay of, of, of the ETFs is actually something bullish. Um, so I think Bitcoin will remain bullish. And like I said, I mean, there's a ton of liquidity right here at 34,000. So we might still see a drop down there. But I would argue if you zoom out enough, that's still super bullish. <laughs> All right. So, um, so yeah, on the short term, uh, to get back to it, I don't expect Bitcoin to break above 30, 37,600. It's a possibility. It surely is, but I, I don't expect it. I think it's more likely that we'll stay in this range, probably here at the top, and then try to get a breakout like that uh, maybe later this week, maybe next week. All right, so those are my thoughts. Uh, that's my analysis for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And uh, lastly, if you're interested in my premium group or signal group, Links to that will be down in the description. All right. So there you can check that out. If that's something for you, there's a ton of value in there. If you want to become a better trader and make some profits, uh, but that is up to you. All right. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.